to see level three different people tonight. Level three. I need somebody who wants to walk in order to come up in one minute. In one minute's time, tell me what you're thankful for. Right here, come right here. Come on, here, come on. Okay, this is the first minute. Life. December 
is almost here. We're at Thanksgiving. Pastor Mike, some people can come to the third quarter of this year and have had a pretty pleasant time all year long. But the believer has found himself somewhere he's not accustomed to being. We're learning to give God thanks for this. Believers are being stretched. Oh God, help me in here. Believers are being taken through things that it appears with the natural eye, the non-believer is having a better life than you are. I feel like menacing to you, hold on. It appears that when you were giving to your sinful nature more, Things were better in your life. And now that you've decided to give God more of you and open yourself up to him and live as the thankful being that you're created to be, things are worse now than they've ever been. A thankful being doesn't worship when it's convenient. A thankful being lives a life of continuous worship unto God. And he or she makes the sacrifice to make God the primary everything in their life. And it appears if you look through life's window with your natural eye that your house is doing worse than the people who don't even recognize that there is a God. Oh God, some of us came into this year, January 1, expecting things to be at least what they were last year. If all just a little bit better but we came into this year one of the things we decreed and declared is that we were going to give God more of ourselves yeah. I stop by to tell you that there is a meeting of heaven and earth that must come to pass and everything that Jesus proclaimed shall be fulfilled and the sad thing is that the church has gotten comfortable believing that what we've always done is what we were always going to do as if this, as if this wicked carnal, unrighteous world was never going to run out of pavement. But every road has an end. God is looking beyond what you see and he sees that the asphalt of this natural life is running out and there's going to be an end to everything that has kept you and an end to everything that has sustained you and only the righteous will be able to continue to travel beyond the point substance from which we stand on now. As we came into this year, new life, this is a treacherous place to worship God. Because wherever the presence of God is heavy, the expectations of God towards that house is all the more. You cannot avail yourself to God all the more and not expect for godliness not to want to be there all the more. If you love on him more, he's going to want to love on you more. Yeah, yeah. But the only difference is when God decides to love you out of his supernatural, it has to make, it has to make some of your natural move. Yeah, yeah. So you cry, you cry unto God as his child, but when he responds, you don't want to give up what you're going for. Before, let me work with you. Even I have problems giving God praise in the valley. The valley is occupied with a great deal of people who understand your mess. So you can get caught up in the valley and stay there because you can get ministered to in the valley. The valley has people who are seeing things on the level that you're seeing things on and they're worshiping on the level you're worshiping on. But in order to come out the valley, the first thing that has to change is your thankfulness.
stretching hurt. Can I tell you about that job before I move on? God never depended. God never wanted you dependent on that job anyway. There's an entrepreneur that's been sleep on the inside of you. And when God told you what you were going to have, you would move when they told you to. So God had to take
yourself that Satan don't even let the demons take a nap. You better get to Adrian. She believes she's healed. You better get to Nahum. He done gave the situation to God. You better get to Kim. She's giving God praise in all things. Tell the devil, say, devil, let me save you some time. Keep your demons where they are because my praise is continuous. My worship is continuous. This is not momentary. This is a perpetual praise in the word of God. Everything happens in cycles of sin. Yeah, yeah. I shared this with the intercessors at 6 o'clock in the morning. Go all through the word of God. Luana, from the Old Testament through. Yes, everything happens in seasons of sin. In so much of all sin. God understands what he's going to do at the end of that seventh year. So much that he proclaims the beginning of the seventh year, the year of Jubilee. Yes. Which means that if I owe Donaldson anything, Donaldson has to forgive my debt because God is getting ready to rain down on his righteous self like never before. And he can only get the righteous rain if he lets go of the natural. That's why I'm pushing for the folk connected to me to stop playing with God with your living and your giving. Oh God, help me in here. 2007, the bottom fell out of the economy. I told a friend last night, I've never seen a group of people get behind something that didn't have any power like I saw you all get behind Obama when he ran for office. Don't get mad at me, but if you do, I don't care. God walk me in here and God will walk me out. I don't care what you like to see on TV. Statistics are statistics. And statistically speaking, our economy is no better under Obama than it was under Bush. Actually, if you want to be honest, it's better under Bush because at least he had a trillion dollar war going on. I thank God for that man. I honor him for the office he holds, but I can't give him what's about to happen. That's why I'm bringing your mind to the realization of it. I thank God for what he's done, but unemployment and everything else is still about the same. But at the end of the seventh year, there becomes a heavenly shift for the righteous. Not for everybody. Oh, I can't help it. Some of the unjust gonna get some rain too. He rains on the just. Can I tell you how he rains on the unjust? You end up hiring him. That's what you're supposed to do. You can't witness to him until you get him near you. You end up giving him houses and like you can't give until you. They gotta see the hand of God who can show it to him better than you. We're at the end of that seventh year. We're at 2014. The cycle is ending. The cycle is ending, that seventh year. The cycle is ending. In the favor of God for the righteous. Somebody say for the righteous. It's pouring itself out on the world. You got a reason to be thankful. God is going to honor your famine shout. There's a famine shout. Where you gave God praise while you didn't have. While you were hurting, while you were alone, you may have not seen it released, but God doesn't forget your praise. He doesn't forget your faith. He doesn't forget how you could have hustled, made it happen, but you trust God. You lean not to your own understanding. God ain't forgot what you did, but he sent me by here tonight to tell you you're at the end of that. It's the season for overflow. It's the year of Jubilee. Walk in forgiveness. Start living what you talk about. Start living what you hear as minister. Start giving what you're supposed to give.